In this video I'm going to show you how to complete Dragon Stopper, the very first role-playing game that was available on a console. It was available for the Atari 2600 and required the Starpath Supercharger to play. Um, this will be a complete walkthrough. I might queue it to make it a bit faster. It'll take me about a bit over half an hour to complete it. So here's my little dot, my little character. Uh, the castles um, have traps around them, so I tend to give them a wide berth. You can enter them from behind. None of them have a trap directly behind us. That's how if I want to enter a castle I will do that. So I'll just fight this guy, kill this demon. So I'm just pressing right right to fight him. Okay and a charm and 37 gold. Just move away from the castle and look at my stats. So I've got seven, oh I did really bad in that fight, uh, seven strength and 400 gold. There are magic items, so crosses, staffs, potions, charms and rings. They do a random thing for um, when the game starts. So I'm going to look at my stats again, seven and 23, and use that charm and see what it does. Feels weird. Let's have a look at stats. 23, 23, so I've gotten lucky. Now I know that the charm improves my strength. So two of the items improve your stats. Two of them are cursed, they take away from your stats. And then one shows you where the traps are. I don't tend to worry about which one shows me where the traps are because all of the magic items, whether they're cursed or not, are worth money. Um, so you want to keep them to um, spend them at the end, like trade, trade for them. And because I know I can get into every castle just by going from the back and be safe, um, I don't I don't worry about figuring out where the traps are because they're that's I've got a safe way of getting into all of them. Normally, I would. Whoops! I escaped. Sorry. You can you can fight or run away. I accidentally run away from that um, monster. The monsters are pretty much the same, although they. Um, the items they give you um, does vary depending on the monster, so that's how they change. Normally I make my way to the church. Uh, the church is a, a place where we can replenish our strength. I'll just go here. Uh, it's locked, I'll need a key to open that. Or I can use... Um, actually, do I have a hand axe? I do have a hand axe, I could chop it down. Yeah, let's do that. A bit rude, but... Use hand axe, got a cross. Probably. Um, I can, if I pray for t um, $200, I will gain um, strength that way. So when you first start the game, that's how you replenish your strength before you figure out which um, magic items do what. So now I've got a cross, that's another magic item. So I'll look at my status again 2321. Use cross, feels weird. Status. Hey, I've gotten really lucky. So now all I, I know I, I just use crosses and charms. So that's a bit of good luck that I, I don't have to worry about. So now I'm not going to use any. I could figure out what which um, one is the shows me where the traps are, but I really don't care. Oops, there's a snake. This will give me a ring most likely. Use hand axe. Use hand axe. Use, oh, I'll just fight him. I didn't get anything. Bummer. So now I'm going to go around and just so um, pick fights, and I'm not going to. So I'm going to use my crosses and uh, charms. And what's my status? Fourteen thirty. So basically, I want to get my gold up to about a thousand, a bit over a thousand, and that will be enough to afford uh, killing the dragon, which is the whole point of the game, you know, dragon stomper. Uh, you can actually not kill the dragon, I'll find, show you both ways of doing it. Monkey getting attacked here. So I don't want to use any of the other magical items now because I know that it's only the charm and cross which are good. But um, I still want the magic items because they 
um, are worth 30 in gold when, when I get to down. Oh, I've got a key now. I've got, any, um, got a chest, so I might as well open that chest. Use chest, open. Got a charm. Um, I'll save my charm until my strength is a bit lower. It's just so that, you know, that's because that's my replenish um, item. Got a key. So my stat's 12. I tend to replenish whenever I'm, I'm below 10. You'd be unlucky to um, die with 10 health. I got a little castle. A little castle doesn't have, do I have any keys. I got one key actually. I'll try and use the hand axe. No. I'll use the key. Open the door. Got a potion, but again, I don't want to use the potion because it might make me sick. There's another church up here somewhere, I think. So you can choose not to. What's my status? Nine. Status six. Um, I'm going to use my charm. I have a charm, yeah. So now I've got 26 strength. So it improve, it lifts your strength up, and it also increases your maximum. You, may, you can get your dex up to 49 in this overworld, and um, your strength up to 50, like your max strength, by collecting those items. And as I said, in this case, the cross and the strength. I'm just going around picking fights now. Trying to get my gold up and trying to find charms and crosses. So I kind of want to find... There is another church up here, I can't remember. I got a... Got like a little chest, yeah. Use, oops, use the chest. So the chests are good because you get a lot of money out of them. Um, and you can get an item as well, typically. Oops, castle. Let's give it a wide berth. The only castle of significance on the far left on the top, there's a, a castle that is flashy. Uh, that one is where you can get ID to, to go into town. Although you can randomly get it from uh, Maniac, which is this guy I'm fighting now. I was unlucky there and didn't get a... I mean, it's, it, you're unlikely to get a, a paper that way. You usually have to get it from the Flashing Castle. I will show you. Oh, there's the other church. Hopefully I get across. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to pray. <laughs> pray. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. I use a uh, cross. So now I've got my status, my dexterity up to 30, so I'm get, it means I fight better, which is good. Uh, this is where um, you find the bridge to get into town. Once you get into town, you can't get back, so you have to get your stats up before you do, go there. Uh, there's, a, there's a guard to the bridge. You can evidently um, fight him, but it's much easier and pol more polite just to get the ID, which is pretty easy to get. I don't know why people fight him, it's a bit rude. I mean, he's just doing his job. Stopping all these monsters and so forth getting into town. Seems a bit rude to kill him. I, when I kill him, I'm gonna... That was good. Doing well with the money. Uh, 21 strength. Could do with a charm. I've got any keys left. Yeah, we've got a key. They're pretty generous with the keys. Key. Open the chest. So, as much as I don't want to use those, the potion and all that, because um, they are more than likely going to take away my strength. 
and um, health. Oh, my strength, there's my health, uh, strength and dexterity. Um, they are good in terms of money. They're worth something. I'm doing really well with money this time. Uh, let's see, 35, 18. I could do with more charms. Let's turn 16. I might actually have to blow some money in the church to, um, if I don't get a charm soon. Oof, that's a keys. Um, temples often have charms in them. Or oh, shield, shield. Um, also, just having a shield increases your dexterity. I think that temple always has a shield in it. Um, you don't do anything with it, but just having it improves your dexterity. really don't want to use, go spend 200 on, because 200 is a lot of money, um, to improve my strength, but I might have to. Eleven, yeah, any more damage I'm going back to a church. Oops. Right, fine, I think there's a church over here somewhere. Yeah, it'll be fine. There's a heart. There's a church underneath that. There's a golem in there. Let's have a fight the golem. I don't worry. Hmm, didn't have much money. There's the churches. I don't think I'll go far from the church for a while. So I can get back and, because as you can see, every now and then I, I get attacked even if I'm not touching things. So I don't want to get too far. There's the um, glowing castle where I can get my paper. Actually, do I have? Uh, I have a key, but I probably won't do it now. So I'll find a charm and then go in there. That's 12. Eh, still risk it. I'm getting a lot of potions. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go to the church and pay the rejuvenate myself. Bit annoying. Donate 200, 21 strength. So now up to 29. Oh, enough with the keys, I want a charm. out of that. So I've got getting my stats up. Annoying. Use the key, hopefully I get a, a um there you go, charm, that's good. So there's often Charms in the temple and obviously crosses in the churches. And they do replenish eventually. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go get my papers. Let's go in here. Ah, that's annoying. 700s I need. Another. Yeah, chest is good. Use chest. Yeah, so it's a shame potions aren't what increase my um, health. Because I'm getting a lot of it. It's, so on the far left I'm going to find the There it is, whoops, snake. Find some, find some maniacs. Use key, open the door. So that paper is what I need to get across the bridge if, I'm, if I don't want to be a scumbag and kill the guard. I'm a very um, ethical little white dot. Oh, enough of the keys. Yeah, I'm not getting lucky with the charms. I didn't notice what I got then. Hand X, paper, key, ring, star, charm, potion. Yeah, seven potions. Probably cursed. <laughs> oh well. I'm just wandering around picking fights. Enough with the keys. Rory's often have a bit of money, so... Um, I got 800. Oops, don't want to go in there that way. Let's go in the back door. Open the door. Sneeze that. That's my eleven in strength. Yeah. Really could do with some more charms. Let's see if the cross has renewed itself. There we go. Praying doesn't do anything. Use that cross. So I'm up to 45 dexterity, and I only can get up to 49 in this part of the game. So I'm my stats again. Clear the area for the guard. Keys. Keys aren't worth much either once you're, um, in, you can sell them, but they're not worth selling in the main game, so center seven. Use chest seven. All right, better use that um, charm. Twenty-nine. Yeah, I haven't really. Up the ante with my um, health very well in this particular go. Being unlucky with the charms. Oh, maybe. Yep, another shield. Regenerated. Come on. Give me a bloody charm. Just 
once again, 29, healthy. Castle is kind of castle. So just stay away from the edges and then come in from behind. Not already been in there recently enough. I don't really want to fight a snake. Church, probably getting across. Yay! Use that cross, no reason to hold out on it. Status 46, almost maxed out my dexterity. Hey, charm. the bridge soon. Right, we'll go up another, try and find a little bit more gold. Could do with a few less keys. I'm not going to bother selling those keys. Oops. That's my status. 46. Yeah, I got a fair bit of money. All right, that's, I think that's enough. Let's, I'm not going to max out my stats. I don't really need them to be maxed. I'm going to go to the bridge. Oops, have I been in the little castle? those potions were a little bit more useful for me in this particular game but I can't complain because I found out what the, the good items were straight away. Nice, good timing. So not quite maxed out my um, dexterity but pretty damn close. Oops. There you go, charm. Excellent. Keys up your backside. Alright, there's the bridge. I'm going to um really use up my crosses. I have two charms. I'm gonna use my charms now. I'm not sure I can use them when I'm in Dragon's Lair. Status 32, use it again. Next one. Charm, um, feels weird. So that's 35, so I've got 35, which is well off. I can get it up to 50 apparently, but that'll do me. That's Netball's ID, use the paper. Uh, love another fighter. Now it's loading up, next stage. And now I'm in town. Let's have a wander around. Uh, first annoying thing I have to do is sell all my stuff. Trade, sell. I think I've got more than one shield. I'll sell the shield. Trade, sell. Ring. I'll sell all my rings. I don't need them. Uh, this is kind of annoying. I wish you could, you could just sell everything. I mean, all of, like, all of one item. Potion. Kind of annoying bit. Yeah, that's what games were like back in the day. How'd you work for it? Star. Probably got several hand axes. This is annoying. 
as it was getting all those potions, I can at least sell them all. I mean, they might actually be cursed, well, they probably are. But, you know, buy beware. Exciting, but <coughs> trying a bit of a cough. shields so I don't want to sell any more of them. Six hand axes, one potion. Try and sell sell five hand axes. Two three four and one potion, so one potion. So the second last hand axe and potion. Alright, so this is the magic straw. I'll come back here. I'm gonna go to the go to the medical store first. Um, the vitamins um, give you health. I mean strength. Sorry. So I need all of them. Well, I don't really actually. I probably need three. Safe and sorry. Ah, touch it first. The other items, uh, medicine is for, like you get sick when you go into the cave, but it's, it's not worth getting the medicine, and the medicine helps that. Elixirs are good, they improve your um, your dexterity, I'm going to use it right away. Um, normally if I was maxed out with my dexterity to 49, I'd be able to get it up to 52, but because I wasn't maxed out, um, 50 is probably as high as I can go, so I'm not going to buy any more of those. Um, that's all I want from here, I think. So I just want the yeah, that elixirs. Don't need medicine. Now I'm um, up here. I need a lantern. I need one of everything. Oh, I don't need the. And I'll buy gold. I need a rope or a chain, one of the two. I'm going for the rope. Don't need both. You need a longbow if you want to be able to fight the dragon from a distance. Don't need more than one. And you need three of these um, sapphires or rubies to. Um, there are. <coughs> Sorry. And they're a cheaper way of um, hiring the warriors to help you. You can hire the warriors with money, but the amount you have to hire them for is um, considerably more than if you just use the. Um, gems to do it. And you kind of want to have warriors, so while I'm out here I can hire, hire the warriors and this man is interested of uh, Sapphire, this man, Sapphire, this man. So the ruby will do just as well, they're exactly the same essentially. Alright, got all my men. And now I'm gonna buy magic. I want uh, stun. Oh, actually, I'm going to buy unlock. I'm going to show you both ways of finishing the game. 
is it, unlock is the way of buying it um, without killing the dragon. So I'm going to do it both ways. Blast is just like damage. So this up here is what's this one? Flash shows you where some of the traps are, but the lantern cover does it just as well. Vision is showing you where some more traps are, but I don't worry about the traps. I just cop them. They don't actually do much damage. It's kind of like the medicine. Like um, you can get medicine so that you don't get sick, but you might as well just get sick and lose a few points, health points. Um, this is protect. It protects the um, stops. It makes the dragon miss. So I might as well buy that. Probably won't need it. Oops, bye. Ah, sorry. Alright, that's all I need. All the, the rest of them just aren't worth getting. Alright, now we're going to the cave. Sign in the gate. Abandon Hope Hall who enter here. Like how we're gonna get the dragon's butt. And it warns beware of the dragon. I'm gonna enter. Loads up the next stage, and now we're gonna kill the dragon, and then we're gonna um, going to um, do it without killing him. Alright, what I do with the traps, I just hug the edge. Yeah, I get hit by a few of them, like that one. But not, not enough so that it matters. If you get, go through the middle, you hit more often. And there's probably a better pattern, but I haven't bothered learning it. As I said, you can get things that protect you. Also, that, oops, so that you can see the, the things. This is, I can see those because of the lantern. If I didn't have the lantern, I wouldn't be able to see those things going across. Or well, that flash spell does the same thing, but it's cheaper. I'm just going along, singing a song. Another lot of darts coming up, I think, or I'll get hit by something soon. Yeah, so you see, I'm getting sick, but I'm not. I'm only losing a point here, and it's not worth worrying about the medicine. I get hit soon. I probably could memorize and not get hit, but you know. It's not worth it. Oh, I mean, maybe it is for you. Almost done. Oops. God damn it. Ah, three. Hit again? No? Alright, whatever. That's my status. 21, still good. There's the pit. And I'll quick save it. So that I can. There's the dragon. So this time I'm going to. First time I'm going to just kill him. First I'll use my warriors. Send them off to do some fighting for me. The, warrior, the um, dragon can fight two every turn. I um, only can send off, even though I have three warriors, I only can send off two. Alright. I'm going to use my stun to stun the dragon. Nice. So he misses a couple of turns. Now I'm going to use my Blast, do some damage to him. Bastard. I'm going to use my blast again, hopefully. Hey, 18 points, not bad. Going to use the stun again. Give my 
guys a, a break and use the last of my glass. Nice. Drag my covers and use my last stun. One more. Again, the warriors get to hack him up. Now I'm going to use my longbow. As a coward, I <laughs> let my guards fight and just stay back. Use my longbow again. Use my longbow. Oops, I killed one of my guys. Uh, so I'll, I'll get the other guy going. Use Warrior. Text spell to protect the, the guys so it automatically misses. Then use my longbow again. Use my longbow. My one barrel will probably last time. Oops. Thank you for the worry. Probably should use that protect spell. Sorry, dude. Um, I'll use the next protect spell. I'll use the protect spell. We shouldn't have been on it. No. Um. My status, how am I going? 21. Fighting strong. Might not even end up. Um, oh, I didn't even use one vitamin. Easy peasy. And all I need to do is go up and grab the thing, and I'm, I'm one. Britannia, marmalade, and jam. Do 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 do. Alright, now let's quick load and we'll beat him by going around him. So then jumping down, there he is, use a warrior, use another warrior, I'm going to use one of the protects. Oops, oh shit, no. Well, I unlocked it, I need to do that at some stage. Didn't mean to, but. So I use the unlock spell so now I can get to that amulet without. Um, so if I get to that amulet, I've won. Now I use a protect spell. Now I need to get past this dragon. Bit there. Let's look at my status. Mine, alright, so I need to use the vitamins. Done. Damn it, drank. 
cats with it. Go ahead again. Do I have both my guys out? I'm just going to use another lineman. Can't tell whether there's two. I can always see. I'll use. Um, Warrior. Yeah, okay, one of them must have been killed. Move. Alright, now I'm making a run for it. He's done now. Now that I'm past him, that's kind of the difficult part. Got plenty of vitamins. That's All right, down to one one dude, twenty I use my stun, damn it. Oh, let me get all the glory. My <laughs> poor guys are dead. There we go, and that's how you do it without killing the guy. Must be a bit awkward when you sort of walk out of the pit, but there you go. That's how you solve Dragon Stomper, the first RPG on a console.